Thank you for stopping by my channel. I am going to be altering some paper clips in this video, 15 actually, and I am doing all of them from toilet paper tubes. So these all originated as a toilet paper roll, and I have cut that toilet paper roll and used a variety of techniques to create these paper clips. One, texture paste, embossing, a few odds and ends. So please come join me and we will get started. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And of course, that notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. So let's get started on these paper clips. The first thing you want to do is <clears throat> squish your paper roll in half or your toilet paper tube in half and cut it in half. I cut mine down into two inch by two inch sections. So you will cut enough toilet paper rolls to get enough sections for your 15 paper clips. I used it in a variety of ways. Some of the two inch sections I created one out of by creating a one inch altered paper clip. Some of the others I left a little larger. So you'll see as we go along how I work with these. So I'm cutting up uh, my bases right now. A few I want to paint, so I am going to coat with texture paste and allow, not texture paste, with gesso and allow that to dry, sand it down because I make my own and it gets kind of grainy. For some, I am using the, this security envelope, so I am gluing it to the back of this envelope so that black and white security section shows. I think that will make a, a very nice substrate. I'm going to glue these all down, set them aside, and allow them to dry, but not before I put this heavy-duty paperback book on top of them. Just to make sure they're touching in all of the corners. So once I have that done, I'm going to work on a napkin. I think I want to decoupage a napkin over it, and I have made the decision to utilize things out of my household that I would normally throw away. This napkin was sitting in the napkin holder. I splashed my coffee on it. It has a coffee stain on it, so I'm embracing that coffee stain and stamping this napkin with a variety of stamps. I'm using a script stamp. I'll use a filigree stamp, a postage stamp, recycle, reuse, and a butterfly. And just randomly filling this entire napkin. Now, I thought that I had pulled out my stays on black pad. I did not. So this ink is, is still reactive to the Mod Podge when I decoupage it. So I have to be very cautious there, but just, just a warning, if you're gonna decoupage the napkin, use a stays on ink that dries and, and won't react to, to your glue and water. So to use this napkin, I'm putting down some spring colors and I've chosen the spring green and I'm gonna paint these four little pieces of toilet paper tube, that bright green color. And I'll allow those to dry and then come back and decoupage that napkin on top of it. Okay, here we go with the coat of the Mod Podge. I make my own. Video will be linked in the top. And I'm just going to lay that napkin where where I like what it is presenting and just decoupage it on there again very carefully because I did not use the stays on ink. But it didn't run too much and, and the little bit that it did didn't bother me. So I think we'll be fine. Now I'm going to cut the one that I had out of the security envelopes, the pieces that I had laid down on that security envelope. Let's get those cut out. They've dried. And we'll just trim around the outside edges of those. Now, my original intent was to use the green for the front, put the paper clip 
onto the security sign and glue those together. Well, I like that security sign so much that I decided not to do that. So I am going to just glue them together and then make a decision on which side I think looks best. And I will attach my paper clip with cardstock later. I'm going to emboss the pieces to give them a, a little more depth. And see how how nice those look after they get out of the big shot. So I just stuck them down in my embossing folder and ran them through the big shot. And I think those those turned out quite well. So now I'm going to glue the front to the back. And I'm using the security envelope pieces as a back. We'll get all of those glued up and set aside. Now we'll trim off the corners. <clears throat> I started with the half inch setting on my crocodile and it was too big. So I turned around and used the quarter inch. So that smaller setting looks better on this size square. And you can see the difference there. And I'm tossing aside the half inch and kind of focusing on the quarter inch. So I have now decided to put the remainder in the embossing folder. And I have some additional squares that I put in the embossing folder just the toilet paper tube alone. I had not painted it, I had not coated it, I hadn't decoupaged anything to it. It was just raw toilet paper tube. And I'm pulling them out of that embossing folder and just inking them up with a black ink. And of course, inking around the edges. I'm going to lay down some cheesecloth in between this one. I think that would look good. So I'm cutting the cheesecloth a bit wider, of course, than the piece, and I am pulling the horizontal lines so that I just have a cheesecloth fringe around all four edges of this piece. I've decided to emboss with this high clear gloss. So I'm pulling out my embossing pen and the Versamark embossing stamp pad, which is just a clear stamp pad. And I this embossing pen is black. So I'm being very careful to draw onto the raised areas of the embossing and covering it with my embossing powder and that will give a very high gloss finish to all of those raised edges. And on the green, I have decided to emboss the whole thing. So I just coated it 
so it will have like a little domed totally glossed look Now, I could have really stepped here and, you know, finished the, the video by adding some liquid pearls to these and adding the paper clip to them, but I, I couldn't stop myself and I'm going to go on and I'm going to create some additional altered paper clips utilizing the same techniques, but just, just with a little bit of, of difference. So I hope you'll hang in there with me for the rest of the video. We are going to pull out the texture paste and, and use that, and then we'll allow that liquid pearls to dry, and we will come back and attach the paper clip to each of these with a little bit of cardstock to, you know, hold the paper clip to the piece. But these little these little tiles turned out, I think, really cute. They are substantial. They have a, a nice little feel to them. They kind of cling when you, you hit them up against the, the table because of that embossing and the going through the, the big shot plus adding that embossing powder gives them a kind of a glassy look. And I, I really am happy with how they turned out. I'm just going to add a little piece of cheesecloth onto this one. And I have all of these little butterflies that I had cut out for the idea journal that I'm creating in my Facebook group. And I am going to add a butterfly to this guy. 
And I'm going to do that to a few of the green ones as well. And some more liquid pearls. You can never have enough liquid pearls. So let's get started on the rest. Let's cut some more toilet paper. Stick them in the embossing folder. And let's ink them up and give them some color. I've decided to create the small narrow one with that. Making sure that my toilet paper tube is long enough to cover the majority of my paper clip, if not. We'll add some embellishments to it. Using a firm green first, and then I am going to come back and hit it again with the Broken China Blue. These are Distress Oxide inks. And this actually turned out to be one of my favorites, just the, the simplicity of it. It is embossed with a flower. And the combination of the two colors is lovely. So for the next pieces, I'm going with some different colors. I have a purple, a yellow ochre. blue. I think this is the purple. The blue is the first. And a green. And I painted, I didn't just say this, I just painted right on the card. I am going to use some texture paste. And I wanted to use another throwaway item from my kitchen, which is generally the K-cups and the coffee grounds. So I thought, Hmm, I wonder how those would work mixed in with my texture paste. Would it give it that kind of grainy type of look, that bone feel? And I really like the way it came out. It does. It looks kind of like a weathered bone. I'm going to mix that up and use it on another one as well. And I make my own texture paste. You had the link previously, but the link will be in the description as well. And I'm just pulling it through stencils. And now I'm going to mix some texture paste with a little bit of the green ink to put on top of these blues.
And I'm happy with how those turned out. So we'll set those aside and let them dry. And once dry, we'll come back and hit them with some sandpaper to pull off any little rough edges. It just needs a really light push of the sandpaper across. And I think those turned out pretty sweet. I'm going to cut them in half. Now I could do two things here. I could make two ultra paper clips out of it and use these as the front, which probably would have been the prudent thing to do. But as a jewelry artist, I have a tendency to want the back of everything to look as good as the front. So I am going to use one for the back and one for the front. This one, I'm going to sandwich some cheesecloth in and fray the outside edges like we did on that other piece. I forgot to put my paper clip on. <laughs> Let's go back and put the paper clip on and glue that down again. I don't know, this looks nice. Where's the clip? I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Only I am thinking I might want to add a little brown paper behind it, but I've decided that I had a piece of that colored paper tube that I had embossed but had not used. So I cut it into a very small circle. I'm going to ink it up. And use it on the front of this. Get a little piece of cheesecloth to lay behind it. And there, I think that looks cute. Now we'll stick the paper clip on to the back. And there we go. So using the same process, we've created a lot of altered paper clip toppings, I guess that's what you would call it. So I'm just going back and adding uh, what I think it needs a little extra. I've cut a lot of these little tiny butterflies. I'm going to glue those on, use the liquid pearls, and cut some black cardstock to utilize on the back of each to attach the paper clip on the ones that I glued together instead of using the front and back of the paper clip. So once complete, they'll all be in the paperclip form. I'll come back and add some little dangles on the ones that need it. And I'm just attaching a little charm to the paperclip with a jump ring. And of course, I'm moving that jump ring, um, you know, front to back. And you don't open it side to side, front to back, adding the dangle and then just moving that back and forth a little bit to add some strength to it. So here are the completed paper clips. You can see all of the different varieties of things that we utilized. And it is toilet paper tubes, embossed, glossed, texture paste, and everything is utilized here in an effort to create something a little different something a little fun so i hope you enjoyed and i hope you will subscribe to my channel and of course stop by my facebook group to all crows mix media we are putting together an idea journal over there and i 
am grateful that you took a moment or quite a few moments. I generally try to keep my videos less than 10 minutes. This is a long one for me. So I thank you for sticking it out and I appreciate your time. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Bye for now.